Hello, and welcome. I'm Zander, here we are in Feed the Beast. Uh, don't ask why these are currently detached. That's something I have planned for the future. Uh, long story short, I think I'm just going to shave the top of the mountain off, like literally right around, say, here or so. I'm just going to cut the entire top half off and put a fencing up around there. Uh, that'll reduce the amount of bandaging I actually have to do on it. And, but, uh, what I want to work on is the front. Right here and now, that's what I want to work on. So, uh, first things first, whoops. Should have, have quite a bit of extra wooden plank covers in here. But I'm going to grab that too, just in case. Uh, I'm probably going to want... Well, uh, I guess I'll figure the rest of that out later. Uh, basically, I want, like, an opening door here. Basically. So, I've got... There's a room down here. One of these... This side's not directly touching it, so I guess this is the side that I'm going to leave alone for now. Uh, what is the best way to go about this? Basically, when it's open, I want it to have as little, like, visual impact as possible. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use frames for the door. You may, may or may not have guessed that already. But, uh, the thing is, is I want... To make sure this doesn't touch anything, for one thing. Now, I know there's covers and there's panels. I forget what does what. One of them doesn't grab anything, and the other one will... It'll grab pretty much everything, except for it won't grab... Uh, one will grab wires and stuff, basically. Stuff directly attached to it. And so... My biggest concern, right at this very second, is, is it covers or is it panels? Uh, I'm going to need a screwdriver. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't need two types of torches on my bar. Uh, rotate, rotate. I'm going to need a button. I am grotesquely unprepared for this. Uh, this isn't going to do me much currently, so I'll move it off to the side. Give me, give me this battery. This is the extra battery for the moment. Now this should move up. Cool, cool. One, two down. Very good. Okay, so, now that I've got that thoroughly tested, what I'm clearly going to do now is basically this side's going to be mostly a placeholder. Uh, you'll see what I mean by that in just a moment. Uh, you need to be uncovered. The reason why this side needs to be uncovered is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put construction foam there. So when this rises up, there's going to be construction foam lining right here. So that needs to be open. And I can actually add the construction foam later. That is not a block. So that is the plan right away with that. I'm going to actually put the motors in the other side because I have a little room down there. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say it right now. I originally planned to make an episode about modular force fields. But I was having issues getting them to both work as I intended. And I had also slightly fucked it up. Like, And everything is now hidden in a box. Until I decide that I wish to try and mess with it again.
And that is where it's going to stay until I decide it, it doesn't need to be there anymore. But uh, I'm going to need one frame motor somewhere right around here. Which means it's also going to need two separate sources of wire. Okay. Uh, oh. There's an MFE in my way. Of course I didn't bring any wire with me either. So I've got some of the colored wire still, which I'm not really going to need per se. Let's just use regular red alloy wire since it's easy enough to produce. So some of these actually in the way. And a funny thing about construction foam, it fl falls under the same logic as other blocks, which is I can use the gravity gun to cheat, drop it on a torch, and get the block back. Which means that I can also use one of these. Put. Oh. I'm assuming it's ID breaks, and I should still be able to. If I got some. Uh, uh, bone meal, I should be able to dye that. Oh. Hmm. I brought the bed over because uh, while I'm working on this, I definitely do not want nighttime to crop up on me. Okay, MFE, you are in the way. I don't even care that I just lost all that power from it, it's completely irrelevant to my purposes. I'm going to want this motor, oddly enough, I'm going to want the motor right below the other one. Well, that puts a slight damper in my plans. Hmm. I can easily enough power it from the bottom, but then how will I power the top? You know, let's just place, place these frame motors where they're going to need to be right now, and I guess I can worry about the wiring. Well, what I can do, oh, oh, oh. just barely. Okay, so what I can do is I can bring this, these will transmit power to each other, so I can run the blue alloy wire straight into it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, actually, that top one doesn't need to be out of there, because that can stay there. That gives me the extra layer of protection, and then the other one will be, I will put this here, that will stop that connection, bring it down like so. I should probably place these frames so that way I know what I'm doing. Okay. I have to do this, otherwise it will end up pulling this block up with it. And while that's probably not really an issue, I'd still prefer to avoid any potential future problems. I'm going to want bundled cable, I think. One, two, three. Speaking of nighttime, it is creeping up on me. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want bundled cable. And I turned the entities radar on the... Uh, on raise mini map on I considered switching to voxel map which is the one in the mind crack pack but I decided not to despite the fact that I like it more I might change my mind in the future on that one but uh, what can I do here I can 
Hmm. See, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to actively work to avoid crossover. Okay. So, bring this in here. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to run this. That is my only major concern at the moment. Also, how am I going to hook the blue alloy wire in? Technically, there should be grass on top of here. Although, I could move the solars over here. Put this battery here. Put a dedicated row of solars on top of that. About as minimal impact as I can get. Uh, uh, what else is back here? I just want to make sure that I'm going to have... Uh, I'm basically going to place more... Uh, speaking of more... If I move... Whoops two of these out of the way. Do I have a direct view on... No. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. There we go. I will leave that like that because then I can place these in later. Uh... Don't really need them right this very second, and I'm not really using the uh, blue electric at the moment, so I think I'll move the solars over to keep that powered. There. So, the whole plan here is right around this point it will pop out uh, so I'm gonna need to move that and that okay and then that will attach to the other frames which is important important that it does so. Now that I've got those, got that in place, and I'm going to want to do the same thing on this side. Have I ever mentioned that the gravity gun is so useful? Oh, don't do this to me. Uh, I'm actually going to want to leave the top of these open, because there's going to be grass, maybe? Hmm. There's going to be grass here. Uh, this can be filled. And this one can be filled. Something like that. And this one can be filled. But I want to leave the top of that open. Where's the sun? Okay. Uh don't want it moving anything on this side. And if I need anything on that side, it'll get moved. So I will place this dirt here. Oh. I need to pick these up. Okay, so... 
what I will do is oh hmm because these need to yeah this one will come out one more so I'll actually want these here I think which also means that pretty much none of this lines up Uh, I'm fine with it being indented in the sake of simplification. Now, I just want to make sure that it doesn't pick up anything on the bottom of these. Because the tiles will be here. Like so. And then, I guess, well, oh, what I can do is I can still, I can at least line it up with the one that's here. By doing one of these. Because I'm alright with the inside of it looking a little flat. I have no qualms against that. Uh, and then these will go here, which will be hidden under dirt, like so. And then, hmm, that's part of the, no, that's part of the wall. Okay, yeah, we don't want this guy grabbing anything. How about on the other side? What can he do on this side? Ooh, don't do that. Uh, I want this to come... I don't want it to actually go anywhere. But I need it to come up one more. Because... There's going to be stuff on top of that. Uh, these can go back in here where they belong. Okay, so then dirt. And then uh, that would be. No, not you. This will be cobble. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Oh. And then I have to go through the same nonsense over here. means it comes up one more. We already did that one. What? Oh, I'm trying to place the seeds. Then that goes there, that goes there. And on the inside... There, there. Uh, that's gonna need to go there. Should be able to place these in now, no problem. Come on. So much for no problem. There we go. Why are these farther back than they should be? Who 
is the terrible person that designed this? Is it really farther back than this should be, or are these not in the right place? Uh, let's go down. What? The motors were not in the right place. Must sleep. Try and prevent mobs. Even though I can see that there's some under the ground, they can stay under the ground, so long as they're not above the ground. And I am not entirely sure how long this is going to take, because it is going to be a slight operation to pull this off. Do 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 oh. Okay, shift right click. Okay. If I go down below, I want to do the same thing. Now, which is facing which direction? That one's facing down, and that one's also facing down. So, one, two. Now, that should be up. Place this guy here. See, now they're still in the wrong spot. Making mistakes over and over again. Okay. Now. This one needs to be here, and this one needs to be... Here. Okay, now, let's check the direction one more time. Down... The other one's probably also in the down position. So. Hopefully, if I do this right, What'll happen is when this comes up, nothing should get dragged with it. Except for that's not going to happen because I made a mistake. The mistake being that there's none of these panel things on the side there. So, I guess I'll just put this here. It'll get pulled off eventually. It'll break off, and I'll have to deal with it. And these guys are also not quite right, but... What are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Resolve it as best I can. I'll worry about that later. In the meantime, ooh. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this in the reverse order of what I had originally planned. Which is... This one's going to have to come down here. Uh... Dun 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 Okay, so this one is up, this one is down. Oh right. I don't need to run the blue electric cable if I end up doing this as I'm intending. Which means this doesn't need to go down in this hole like this. Fill that in. I don't like it taking that extra corner there. So.
So, that puts us there. Now, I need to cap you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. And these are one too low, but I can put a battery insulator... Not there. I guess I can't really put a battery insulator there, but... Uh, what? Where can I put it? Not there. What I could do is I could put a battery here, a battery there, and a battery there. Then have the solars there. But for the moment, I'm going to put them there to keep that charged. Uh... And I guess this is where I build more of the support frame. Hmm. Dirt, 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 dirt. I know what I'm doing, I swear. Put you there. And then put those there. Should I just put them the whole way? Well, I can't really afford to. Panel. Oh, I don't have any more. Really? Oh, well, I'll just go get these. And one, two, three, four. So, dun 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 dun. Uh, cobble. Cobble. Dirt, 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 dirt. Oh. How am I going to get in if I do this? I will leave a hole right here. And I'll probably make... I might just flatten the... No. Hmm. think that is about as close as I'm going to get. Put that where he needs to go. That goes there. 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 Now, I do end up with a slight hole in the ceiling above my head, but, uh... Not a whole lot I can do about that one at the moment. Hmm. Dirt? There. Now... My only problem... is that I'm missing a very core component. So, I need... I think it's a piece of glass, piece of redstone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, my only concern is that this will not work very well. The reason why I'm concerned it won't work very well 
Ta da! Computer! Is the. Well, I guess this is a temporary measure for now. So, I'll put that there and that there. Uh, if I type edit, I'll make one called open. Oops. Open. What I want to do is it will be four times. So, four i equals zero to four. Do I think hope I have the programming language in this case. That'll do it five times, won't it? Because uh, RS I forget the entire command line for this whole thing. R S dot I will exit this for the moment. L U A R S dot What is it? Open top maybe uh, help R S. Whoops. Exit. Help R S. I said exit, damn you. X it. X it. Nah. Ah, help RS. So that's. Oh. Set output side boolean. That's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. So edit open. RS dot set output top true sleep point uh or sleep 0 0.15 I forget if these need semicolons I haven't messed with the computer craft for probably a good 4 months now so I forget and I've never actually learned LUA directly. This is more of a combination of screwing around the computer cla craft, computer craft, and uh, just general programming knowledge. Put top. Wait, top is close, isn't it? Fuck. End. Uh, so what I want is it my left or its left? I think it's my left when it comes to these or my right. Open. What? Oh, it broke something. Edit open. Set output right. What did I do wrong? Does this need to be... See, it says boolean, so I would figure that... This... I'm screwing something up, and I'm sure somebody's mad right now. On line one, comma, expected. Okay, so... I accidentally hit F11, and so what that did is uh, basically it took me out of full screen. I don't know if that's going to screw up the audio for the rest of this. Oops, that doesn't need to be that. Uh, but I took that time to realize that my mistake is that. So open and it is most definitely not my right and top is the open anyhow so that was a double screw up edit open top 
stop. Open. One. Oh. Wait. Why did you not move anything? Edit. Open. Sleep. 0 0.15. Open. That's not a good sign. That means that something somewhere is uh, basically interfering with its ability to move. What makes matters even worse is one of those things where it's not 100% easy to resolve. Uh, you appear to be right. You appear to be right. Did I leave flowers or something on top of something that needs to move? I don't think so. Do I have... I don't think I have any receivers or transmitters. No. This episode is going to be longer than I had intended. It might even be an hour long. Well, God damn it. I will get this thing to work. What is the problem? Don't cover up the light. Uh... So... What exactly is going on here? No problems there. I expect it will break once it tries to go up one in that case. Uh... As for the rest of these, it shouldn't have any issues moving them. Actually, I can't even understand what exactly its problem is. Because you know it's getting blutricity because it's, that is on. Hmm. I think I might have just seen the issue. You may have just noticed that when I was breaking those, something else broke as well. Uh, basically... Oh, stop doing that. The point here... Let me go inside here. Um, right here needs to be covered. I believe the problem originated from... No? Can you move on your own? Yes. Which means that wherever this problem originates, it's somewhere else. 
Uh, L U A R S dot set output output left true. Right? Uh, okay. False. Did that lower it back down? Why is the mob spawning thing on? Uh, it appears to have not gone back down. And that is because of a lingering problem that I knew I was going to encounter. Oh. And that problem, as you can tell, had to do with it grabbing something that I didn't want it to. Uh, okay, that came back down. If I go over on this side, place this back in and that back in. And pick up the button. Uh, I was afraid of that. Let's put it now. Uh, there's no easy way to go about this. Did that move the whole door up? Ye no. Because I never reattached it. Okay. Let's try this again. Reattach, reattach. Bump, bump. And... You know, I really should just make another button. Go! Go! Okay, wherever the problem is... Something is being pushed that doesn't want to move. The question is, does it have to do with the grass? See, uh, if I remove all of that, place this back in, this is going to be a long-ass episode. Okay, so wherever this problem is... It's somewhere within the primary design. Which means somewhere in this design, something is not moving that should be. 
all the sides are paneled off. Oh, except this one. Okay, so... H. Okay. Let's try this again. Bam. Cool. Bam. Cool. Something is not right. Oh. These are going to need to be dirt. Otherwise, it's not going to match in quite right. Oops. Kind of defeated that purpose a little bit. Now, the important thing is that on this side... That block of dirt. Dirt. This doesn't need to be cobble, but I want it to be cobble. Uh... Okay, H. Um, that's going to have to be like that, I think. Guess I'm gonna have to try and recolor that after, but uh, panel, panel. Let's go there. What? I'm missing some blocks here. Very interesting. Let's grab my construction foam. Okay. I guess I'll have to try and figure out where those blocks went. I lost them somewhere along the line. Open. Oh. Exit. Open. As I figured. Now that'll push things to the very edge there. Edit open. Uh, five. 
Uh, oops. That should give it enough time on that. I'm going to want to replace the visible bits with something else. Other than that, I guess it works. The question is, what am I going to replace them with? I'll leave them as wood for now. Just for simplicity's sake. Ow. Yeah, I don't know if I ever mentioned that. The undried construction foam will suffocate you when you're in it. So, I need one more fucking frame. Which means I need... I will continue this. I will finish this. I don't care if this is an hour long. If that's what it takes for me to finish this, then that's what it takes for me to finish it. Brass. Support frame. There's glass there. You know, I just realized something. I don't think I've ever actually showed the finished uh, center area. Whoops. Ta da! Construction foam. H. Okay. Uh, did I make sure that's not going to grab anything on the way back down? I sure hope so. Oh, no. No, I didn't. Not for the second one. I am going to have to program the Bring It Back Down script. Edit. Close. 4i equals... 0, comma, 3, do, rs dot set output, write, true, rs dot, er, no, 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 sleep, 0.15, that's just a buffer sleep time, just to make sure that it's on long enough for it to get the, uh, the message. And this is the sleep buffer time that is needed to make sure that it uh, gets to finish. So let's try the close script now. Hmm. I guess the sleep time needs to be longer. Eh, four seconds to open it. I guess it's not that bad. Uh, before I reopen it, we will place this guy, this guy, and this guy. Yes. If only I had some sand. Okay, so open. One, two, three, four. Good. Very good. So, that is it being open. Suppose this is my accidental express ticket down so how about that I'm quite pleased with it personally I'm gonna want more solars and more uh, batteries but uh, I think everything will be just fine
open. So in its current state, it's only really designed to be closed from the inside, and like opened and closed from the inside. So, uh, this should survive just fine, I hope. One, two, three. And yeah, I'm going to need three more batteries, but other than that... Oh, come on. Ha! Ah. Well then. I guess now that I've completed that, and I should probably foam across here, too. One, A. Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Hopefully, that all looks pretty good in the end. It should, in theory. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to wrap this up here. Got this thing done. About as done as I'm going to make it. I like how it looks, so I'm going to leave it this way. And man, was that a fuck ton of lead. But, uh, yeah, it's basically an observation platform, because I'm going to be building plenty more stuff around it. These may or may not end up underground eventually. Uh, so, I'm definitely calling this good for now. I will see you guys next time.